So I, I'm probably going to make some people mad. Probably going to lose some Twitter followers over this. Maybe some people will block me, but I don't care. This is a discussion that needs to be had. And I feel like a lot of people are tiptoeing around the elephant in the room. Sure, they might say their piece on Twitter. But as far as like YouTube is concerned, I, I don't feel like anyone has really addressed the elephant in the room when it comes to the sony leaks i kind of alluded to it at the end of my video talking about the sony leaks here but i kind of want to dive deeper and actually show some examples now this is not to bash anyone that i mentioned in this video i don't know these people that i mentioned in this video i just see them from afar i see their content this that or the other it is strictly just talking about how their actions don't necessarily match up with their words and if they are wrong about something and they decide to make a change about it then they need to put that into action for the future it can't be an isolated incident that we're seeing with of course these insomniac leaks and what did i say in my video about the insomniac leaks i said that people were already on their high horse about this situation you know looking down upon people oh you covered that you covered those leaks blah 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 and it seems like the red herring that everyone is trying to attach to this leak was the fact that personal information was involved in this leak i ask you has anyone has anyone that's been talking about these leaks been talking about the personal information no because no one gives a shit Nobody cares about the personal information. It's about the games, the business side of things, consoles, console sales, sales for software, upcoming software. It's about the actual stuff that pertains to the industry that many of us are in. If somebody is talking about personal information, then yes, chastise them. We live in this age where it's like, if you don't say something out loud, like people people just assume the absolute worst. Like if somebody, if Spawn Wave came out and said, you know what, people shouldn't kick dogs in the face. And everyone was like, yeah, you know, you shouldn't kick a dog in the face. And then I didn't say anything. People would be like, why didn't RGT say anything? He must like kicking dogs in the face. And it's like, no, there's this thing. It's called common sense. And you're supposed to use it in situations that are common sense bad is bad good is good yes this information was taken in nefarious ways but this isn't the first time it won't be the last time the first person i'm going to talk about very briefly in this video just because i, I found it very strange and then their video actually got taken down was alana pierce now alana pierce has been around for a very long time has a bunch of fans she does some decent work i've actually liked some of her stuff but i found it interesting that she made a video talking about how leaks were bad and leaks are no good and you shouldn't do leaks because they harm the industry yet she kind of did leak when the last of us part two is going to be released ironic because now she works with those people and she actually leaked a nintendo direct date before that event happened which ended up being true there are threads on reset era about this i'll probably show them in some overlay here and then that video that she made talking about leaks bad got taken down which i feel either maybe she had to change a heart or maybe you know big papa uh sony was like hey let's not do that okay N naughty dog you know they're, they're kind of our they're kind of our one of our main companies here you know you don't work for naughty dog you work for sony santa monica but let, let, let's not do that because it looks kind of a bit weird or something like that i i think i have questions about like is she a developer or is she a content creator or is she some mashed up hybrid of it? But I have no problem with her. I just found that to be kind of a bit peculiar in this. But, you know, all the love in the world to her. No disrespect. Just, you know, optics. YouTube is optics. Social media is optics. But when we're talking about optics, I have to bring in Greg Miller. Gregory, Gregory, Gregory. I don't think Greg Miller's a bad guy. I'm pretty sure I've talked to him like once or twice making some, you know, joke tweets to him about something because I, I don't have problems with these people. I just have problems with some of their actions because I, I find it, you know, ironic and, and a bit hypocritical. But with Greg Miller, Greg Miller and kind of funny, all of his subsidiary stuff that he's going got going on. Very successful, by the way. So salute to you, Greg. Secure the bag. But um, Greg came out 
and was very against the Insomniac leaks. We're not talking about these leaks because there's people's information here and shame on people for talking about it. And people at first were like, yeah, go Greg. You're the man, Greg. You are standing, you're such a good person and standing on your virtues. But this, my friends, is something I like to call the internet. And on the internet, the internet does not forget. If you do something that kind of goes against what you are doing currently and you haven't really made a big conscious effort in order to f make people think that you have changed as an individual, they will quickly find the receipts. And receipts there are a plenty. Receipts there are a plenty. Suicide Squad leaked, talked about. Xbox leaks talked about. Well, RGT wait a minute everyone was talking about those leaks and those leaks weren't from hackers there wasn't personal information well that's fine let me just hop in my time machine and go back three years to the capcom leaks the capcom leaks that involved people's personal information the capcom leaks that are done in the exact same way that this was done that they covered that everyone covered so it's really a matter of, are we not respecting a Japanese developer over, over a Western developer? Or is there something more to this? Because you don't have to look very far to see Greg Miller and one of his cohorts in Spider-Man 2, an insomniac game. So is it really, is it really because of the way that this was done? Is it really because of the content that was in this leaks pertaining to personal information or was it because there is a relationship involved in this a a friendship a camaraderie there's nothing wrong i, I feel like i'm I, I don't know how i'm paralleling this to the gerard situation but there's nothing wrong with sticking up for your friends but if something happens and the friend is wrong then it's okay to be like hey i misjudge this person this is wrong wrong is wrong but in the same vein if something comes out and you've been covering every single leak every single leak whether nefarious or not whether how it was gathered or not from the company themselves or from hackers that involves personal information and then you take a stand on a company that you obviously work with on a company that you're obviously friends with it's not the best look in the world I'm not trying to tell anyone how to live their life. I am simply giving my perspective on this side of things because, well, honestly, when you look at the people that are kind of supportive of Greg in this and just 100% behind him and what he says, it's the usual suspects. You see, people talk about like YouTube clicks and YouTube gaming YouTubers having all these clicks and it's an exclusive club. That's the biggest load of bullshit in the world. There is no exclusive club. We're all just people who talk about video games. We like some people, or I should say I, because I am an individual. I like some people in this sphere. I can't stand some people in this sphere. But at the end of the day, I respect them. If you have one subscriber or two million subscribers, I'll still respect you the same. I'm not going to treat you any differently based on your subscriber count. However, this, this click of gamers, the usual suspects, as I like to call them, I'm not going to name them or anything like that, but I just want people to keep an eye on something. When there's a big gaming event, a big gaming gala, whether it was like E3 in past years, or now the Game Awards, Summer Games Fest, you know, a company decides to do something. Look at the people who go to these things. Look at the people who are on stage for these things. Look at the people who are involved in these things. And notice that sometimes they are the most vocal people but should they be the most vocal people because obviously you know there's some sort of you know gray area that's going on here if i do a sponsored video you know it's a sponsored video i tell you outright it's a sponsored video if i do anything sponsored where i am receiving a benefit from a company in a monetary sense or you know a free product or something like that i tell you they sent me this i accepted money to do this sponsor spot but it seems like a lot of this stuff ends up kind of in the gray area. Can you really be unbiased about something when you're working directly with these people over and over again? 
And it's the same people every single time. All in all, though, much love to Greg, much love to Alana, much love to everyone that I mentioned in this video. I hold no ill will towards you guys. I just think from an optics perspective, it's very interesting that this all of a sudden is where we draw the line when we can obviously see that there are both business and personal ties to the company involved when we've done things like this before. So if the next thing leaks, if a, if a Nintendo Switch 2 leaks or a, a new Mario game or a new, you know, Xbox game, are we just going to turn a blind eye to it or are we going to cover it like we've covered every other leak beforehand? And if there's been personal information in those leaks, you don't cover them because you're an adult with common sense. That's how you know I'm getting annoyed when I start dropping F-bombs. That's when I only drop F-bombs when I'm super comfortable or super annoyed. And this whole situation just annoyed, but these are just my thoughts. If you disagree with me, I am glad. I do not want every single person on this channel to always agree with me because I'm not a cult leader yet. Yet. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like I said, this isn't, don't go hate tweeting someone because of this. Like, no, don't be a child. You know, be a respectful person. You can disagree with someone and still have common ground. Oh, that, that's a, a, a crazy thing to talk about. But let me know what you think of this in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you didn't enjoy it, be sure to hit the dislike button. I'm sure there'll be lots of them. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.